That man called Jaeger certainly had a unique way of talking. Unique isn't the word I'd use. I had a hard time understanding some of the stuff he said. An ancient way of speaking lost in this day and age. What? Are you serious? It would at least make a good story if that were true. <laughs> There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we anyway? A forest in central Tobikia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Q Moore? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Oh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh? Brave Vesperia? Start explaining. Just about to ask the same questions myself. Huh? What the... What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven the Great. Who the hell do you... I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first. Let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go. Money seems to disappear before you know it. No, it disappears because you use it. Sure, but if you only use a little at a time, you don't realize how much you're spending. I guess we've been spending a little too much. What do you mean? We need to spend more! Really? But why? The more gold we spend, the more it comes back to us. And it brings its friends, too. R really How interesting. Huh? Rita, your name's on this money. Exactly. I've been writing my name on our gold so we'll know when it comes back to us. And when it does come back, I bet it'll have doubled at least. So go on, use it! <laughs> what a lovely little fairy tale. I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to say, it still feels good to be back. Can I get you Pansy some tissues, or can we go to the inn now? I'm so hungry! All right, all right.
Flynn was asking for Estelle to come back with him, right? The Knights can't help thinking that the best place for a princess is a castle. He's just worried that he won't be able to keep track of her. But Estelle decided to set out on this journey on her own, and you want to respect that. I haven't really thought about it all that much. The Knights are bound to keep following you, though, as long as Estelle's with you. And what kind of a guild would we be if we didn't get into trouble with the Knights? I don't think fighting with the Knights is actually a guild requirement. Huh, so even the Union can't sit still when it knows a princess of the Empire is out on the loose. Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial Throne, too. Yup. That's why he told me to come keep an eye on you. So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Really? What? Is it just me? Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking my foot in that mess back there. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. But why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Each side is trying to feel the other out. The Dawn just wants to keep track of their movements. So, you're all planning on looking for this pharaoh by going to the sands of Kogor? Yes. Do you know what sort of place a desert is? Well, it's hot and dry, and they've got a lot of sand there. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then? Then I guess we'll go around and ask where Pharaoh is. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Um, well... It'd be easier on old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. No, I'm sorry, but I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well, the Desier continent actually suits me just fine. Why is that? I've got to go to Nordopolica for another errand I'm running for the Don. Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Colosseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Technically speaking, he's called the Duce. Do you know what's written in the letter? Hmm. It's got something to do with those monsters that attack Dongrist, in particular about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Don thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit, too. Right. So if you don't mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. That's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know? You understand. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. And I guess, technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. What do you mean, technically? So are we done? I'm gonna go get some rest then. Okay. What? What do you think Rita's gonna do? Hmm. What indeed? Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah. We'll all meet down at the harbor then. What's the matter, boss? Mmm... I don't know if I like you calling me that. The boss is the boss. What would you have me calling you instead? Just call me... whatever you called me before. This boss thing seems a little over the top. 
It makes me feel silly to have you calling me that. <laughs> Don't you think you'll get used to it? Well, maybe. Well, you know way more about guilds than I do, right? I guess. The boss of a guild has to stand as a role model for everyone else. I wonder if I could be that great of a person. Come on, it's not like you're expected to be the best boss ever from the very beginning. For now, our guild has a job to complete. You're right. First we need to take Estelle to meet Pharaoh. But do you think we'll be able to meet him? Our guild's job is to figure out a way to meet him. If we can't meet him, we won't get our reward. And people will lose confidence in our abilities. That's all there is to it. I think we may have picked something a little too tough for our first job. It's more of a challenge that way, and our reward will be that much bigger too. Let's make the best of it. Yeah. I said that I will deal with things in my way of doing. But I let Qmore escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how I could explain this to Flynn. I know, I know. We have Guild's job to deal with rather than Qmore. Yeah, I just can't let him loose. Men of his kind will never learn and will always repeat the same thing forever. I'll have to do something. I left the Empire and formed a guild for this kind of purpose. <clears throat> he will get what he deserves. I'm just incorrigible. Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I really lose sight of everything I was planning on doing beforehand. Yep, that's about right. I came to my senses after Judith told me. Until now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Hey, it could be worse. If you were Empress, one word from you and the entire Empire would run off to do your bidding. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Oh yeah? I've been able to see all sorts of new things. I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but there are still so many things left to learn about in this world. And Pharaoh's one of those things? It scares me to think about it, but... I have to know who I am. I have to know what he meant by saying I was the insipid poison of this world. It sounds like you've made up your mind. Yuri? Hmm? I might end up trying to order you guys around again. Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? <laughs> sure. It's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix by yourself. Though there's another guy who's also a tough nut to crack. So I think we'll let him be the one we vent our frustration on. Well, I'm going back to the inn. I'll see you. I can't believe we have to travel with you. What? You ain't happy? Well, I'm not exactly jumping for joy. You're too glum. Lighten up! Didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil? That was only because you had to. I still haven't forgotten about what you did at Nor Harbor. You still remember that? Some people just don't know when to give up. I'm not about to make a list of all your offenses. Saying that I'd rather not have your company on our trip is already more than enough. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be on my best behavior. I behaved myself at Cave Mock and Gas for us, didn't I? Yeah, that sure would be nice. What should worry you more is whether or not these old bones will be able to keep up with you youngins for much longer. You plan on sticking with us until Estelle goes back to the castle? The Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't got much choice in the matter. 
Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial Knights somewhere. I can see it in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. Nah, not at all. Well, it's really too bad that you're going to be traveling with us, but might as well make the best of it. What do you mean, really too bad? Hmm, well, whatever. Anyway, Raven the Great is going back to the inn. Later, boy. Do you really plan on helping Estelle find that pharaoh whatever? Yeah, I guess so. Didn't that thing say that Estelle was an insipid poison or something? Yeah, I heard. After something like that, I guess you can't just tell her to forget about the whole thing. But it won't help her if she uses that as an excuse not to deal with the issue of the succession to the throne. Yeah, I'm worried that might happen. What are you talking about? That's what is happening. Yeah, maybe. But... You're saying I should take her back to the castle? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It was her decision. We have to let her figure out what she should really do. You realize it might come to blows with this pharaoh guy, right? She won't get to figure out anything at all if she dies. She's not gonna die. That's why I'm going with her. Ugh, have it your way then.
Oh? Are you going to look for that Qmore guy by any chance? Nah, just going on a walk. Where were you? Just out for a walk like you. What you said to Estelle earlier hasn't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier? Didn't you say some pretty harsh things to Estelle? Oh, right. Sorry to beat you to the punch like that. What? You didn't beat me to the punch on anything. You were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What? You figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. All right. So weren't you going off to look for Qmore after feeling bad about hurting Estelle with what you said? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. No, not at all. Well, whatever. What about you? Aren't you going out to look for him? I told you already, I'm just going for a walk. Ready to go? What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. That sounds about right. So, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Huh? You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy! Yeah, I... um... you know, it's no big deal. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Ah, to be young again, I tell ya. You got something you want to say? Whoa! Down, girl! To the harbor, then. The two barrier blastia of this city and Nor Harbor were originally a single blastia. Did you read that in one of your books back in the castle? Yes. Actually, there were three pieces. The last piece sunk in the sea between the two cities. I wonder if you could raise that Blastia, and if you sold it, you could live like a king forever. The Empire would have already done it if they could. Any idiot could come up with that idea. You don't have to be mean about it. Oh, it's you all. We so what's a successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this? I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our Treaty of Friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes. And now, prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions the Don gave the Empire were for a treaty of equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes. Had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them, but... You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor! I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. You mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Why not? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial Treasure, Dane Nomos. But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War, ten years ago. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an Emperor. And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Dane Nomos. What was that, Yuri? Forget it, it's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an Imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? I was just on my way to Heliord. Ah, 
That is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so too. Master Yoder, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. Against that many? You've got to be crazy! I wouldn't do that even if I had nine lives. What's going on? Halt! If you won't do the work I've paid you for, then I want my money back. Add the indigo beasts to the blacklisted guilds. Yes, Madam President. Isn't that the woman we met at Dayton Hold? Yeah, that's her, all right. Well, why do you guys know her? We just met her once a while back. Is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the Union. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea! What's up, Carol? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier. Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell, you've come at just the right time. Huh. I guess those wanted posters really do work. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. Huh? But I thought there was another guild that always served as your escort. It seems the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. The other guardian guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. What was the name of that Guardian Guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. You're all as guilty as I am. Hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so... See you around. Wait, Yuri, what about the boat? Hmm? Did you say boat? We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia! That's a wonderful name. Well then, shall we talk business? Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. We won't call it business then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. There are various incentives for getting along with me, you know. Um, well... All right, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. Once we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow, she means business. Literally. So, do we have a deal? I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desier. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Bonus? What do you mean? If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we use to get there. Really? The boat looks pretty beat up, but it's still a good deal. Right? So these mermen must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with the boat. I'll leave that to your imagination. I figured as much. Marvelous. We have a contract then. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. Just let me know when you've made your preparations. This is the Fiertia. She'll be your ship as soon as you've escorted her to Nordopolica. And this man is Tokunaga of Gull's Song, a maritime guild affiliated with Fortune's Market. I'm Tokunaga. Very nice to meet you. He's only on board for this voyage, so next time be sure to hire your own pilot. We're not in a hurry, but these are important negotiations, so I really appreciate the help. What is the ship's cargo? That's confidential information. It's nothing we should be worried about, is it? Relax. We've got it covered. All right. Head towards Nordopolica. Go directly southwest from Torum Harbor and you'll see the Desier Continent. Nordopolica is at the eastern edge. 
I hope you won't mind if I go over the Fiertia's controls for you. You can only disembark from the ship where you see a dock, a port, or a beach. You won't be able to get onto land where there are cliffs. Of course, the ship can't pass over rocks, but you'll also have to keep her out of the shallows around islands. You might be able to take her into some rivers if they're deep enough. However, if there's a bridge spanning the river, you won't be able to take her under. We wouldn't want to clip off our mast. And that's about it. We just started out and we're already working with one of the five master guilds. This is good. Yeah, you're one step closer to making your dream a reality, Carol. Aren't you happy? You talking to the kid? He's over there mumbling about something. Merman. The first thing had to be Merman. Brave Vesperia has some bad luck. What's the president of Fortune's Market gonna think of us if we fail? This is bad. This is so bad. I don't think he's very happy. He's just being careful, that's all. That's not being careful. That's running and hiding. It'll be nice if we don't run into the mermen, won't it? Hmm, that's pretty wishful thinking. You're quite the pessimist for your age, girly. I'm just a realist. Anyway, thanks for your help. Looks like we're gonna make it there on time. Yeah, Leviathan's Claw was going to beat us there if we hadn't found an escort for the ship. Leviathan's Claw, huh? That's a name I seem to be hearing a lot lately. Oh? They're the guild that's specializing in sales of Hopeland Blastia. Oh, that explains the situation in Heliord. Lately, they've been trying to steal our clients from us. If we weren't able to cross the sea, they would have swiped up another one of our major customers. Still, you can't help but wonder where those slime balls are getting their product from. Indeed. Hopeland Blastia isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to get one's hands on. You don't think the Empire is behind this? No, that couldn't be. It's mages that are supervising the Blastia distribution. Ah, right on time. Everyone, be careful! Ugh, the world's spinning. I think I'm getting seasick. Did that monster just say something? That voice sounds familiar. Well, well, aren't you a chatty monster? <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Eat the din of this hottest rag! Stop <laughs> Right. Rage. Blow you away! Yeah. Alright, who's next? That didn't work. Divine Wolf Lord! Like As your edge! Yeah. Alright, who's next? I just can't hold back! You're true to your reputation. I was right to bring you along. I tell you, Brave Vesperia doesn't have any shame in working an old man down to the bone. Even while I'm looking for Apatheia and doing all sorts of other things. Apatheia? Isn't that what you were looking for back in Nor Harbor? That's right. That's nothing but a fairy tale. 
I researched it a while back, but eventually I realized that there's simply no way it can theoretically exist. I'm well aware people think it's a fairy tale. Why are you looking for it? Well, because the Don told me to. It's still alive! Voyage. Can you really call it a voyage when you're in a monster's belly? What are you doing all the way out here? I was hunting for treasure when I fell into the ocean, but a nice monster came to play with me. Oh, I'm glad you didn't become part of a complete breakfast. This is all well and good, but can we get the ship back on course? Yeah, sure. Ah! <laughs> so that wasn't all of them. Killed him, but he should still rest for a while. Well, this is a real problem. I don't suppose any of you know how to pilot a ship. I can do it! Patty, you can? If you're gonna travel around the world, you'd better be able to at least pilot a ship. Then I'd like to ask you to be in charge of piloting this vessel. You gotta be kidding me. Ah, of course. We've made much better time than I thought. We could even afford to make a side trip or two. I'll leave the course up to you. With a ship, we can go practically anywhere we want. Estelle, I know you want to look for Pharaoh, but don't you think we have more important things to do for the moment? Do you think? I'll do what I want. Don't worry about me. We just started our guild. We should err on the safe side, don't you think, Carol? Yeah. All right. And feel free to give me directions about our course. <laughs> <laughs> 